Sarah Oates here with Divi Space and in this video we're going to be looking at the newly updated version of Divi Ghoster. Divi Ghoster is a plugin that allows you to look super professional to your clients so that when they go into the back end of their website they are going to be seeing you. They're going to see your name, they're going to see your logos and your icons and instead of seeing Divi and thinking about Divi they're going to think about the fact that you made their website and you're the one who has made it look fabulous. Divi Ghost is a plugin that's been around for a while, but now has been rebuilt right from the ground up. So it's now going to be completely compatible with WordPress 5 and beyond, and of course, the new versions of Divi as well. But what is Divi Ghoster? Well, this is a plugin that's going to allow you to look super professional to your clients, but also if you want to hide the fact that you're using Divi, you can use this plugin to do that. So. For example, you may have a client, you want to have front and center the fact that you are the one who has built this website. Now, of course, you've used the tool Divi, but maybe you don't want to tell your client that, or maybe you just want to really brand yourself all over the back end of their website so that when they're using the back end of the website, they're thinking about you, not about Divi. Well, this is where Divi Ghoster comes in handy. So as soon as you've loaded it up, you're going to see here Divi Ghoster and these are the settings here and we're just going to change this out to our new company name. So we're using a silly little company called Supergirl. All right, now Supergirl Agency is this awesome agency and we're wanting to brand the back of our website with Supergirl. So at the moment you can see over here we've got Divi, we've got Divi Ghoster and we just want to hide some of that stuff. And what we're going to do here is click upload image and we're going to go select our little icon. Now you want to make sure that this one is 50 by 50 pixels. So it's really just replacing this icon here. And then of course, we're going to change this slug here from Divi Builder and we're going to change that to Supergirl because we want it to show up everywhere as being Supergirl, not as being Divi. All right, so now once we click save, you're going to notice that all of a sudden you have this brand new spot here called Supergirl and you have your nice little logo. You can see here we've got Supergirl library. If we come into the theme options, again, you're going to see Supergirl all over the place. So up here, Supergirl theme options, enable the Supergirl library. When we come under builder, it's going to talk about Supergirl again. And of course, in all of the advanced settings. But the main place that your clients are probably going to be seeing it is when they make a new page. So let's go new page. All right, and straight away, we're going to say use the Supergirl Builder. So let's do that. Let's use the Supergirl Builder, having them think about you and the fact that you built them, their website all of the time. All right, now let's just chuck a few things in here. All right, you are using the latest Supergirl Builder experience. Switch back to the classic Supergirl Builder. So as you can see, even if this stuff is really subtle, that your clients are going to be seeing that and thinking of you constantly as they're building with um, the builder, which is going to be fabulous. And this is going to be showing on the front end of the website as well, of course. All right, so now what we want to do is show you what's going to happen in terms of plugins, whether or not it's going to show up, that kind of thing. All right, so we're just gonna leave this drafted page. Now, as you can see, if we come into the plugins area, we're gonna see that we're using Divi Switch. We're also using Divi Ghoster. And so what if you wanted to hide the fact that you're using these third-party tools to be able to build your websites? Well, that's where Ultimate Ghoster comes in. Also, say you want to hide the fact that you're using Divi. So we're gonna let this process just for the moment. We're using the Divi Builder Sorry, we're using Divi Ghoster, but we're not using Ultimate Ghoster at this point. So we're going to let this process, which takes just a little bit of time. But the other thing I just want to show you is what happens in the front end. So at the moment, we're using Divi Ghoster, but we're not using Ultimate Ghoster. And at the moment, there are still a lot of references in the code. So if we go into the inspect element, we're going to see that there are a lot of references to Divi, particularly with the filing system. So if we go look for Divi, now it's gonna show up 40 items. Not all of those are actually Divi. Some of them are divider, but because I looked up Divi, that's what um, showed up. But as you can see, there are, there are quite a few references. And if we go down in the references, this is what I wanna show you particularly. So here under the filing system, you can see that these are where all the files for the website live. And under themes, we have the Divi folder. So that's the Divi theme essentially showing up right there. But what we wanna do is hide the fact that we're using Divi from even within the code base. All right, so now let's go back to this theme detector. As you can see, we've run the theme detector. It's showing that we're using Divi. It's showing what version that's on and we wanna be able to hide that. So let's go back here into Divi Ghoster. 
Now, Divi Ghoster has this button, this magical little button that is going to make sure that you can hide all of these things, both from your clients, but also from the front end of the website. So once we click on for Ultimate Ghoster and click Save Changes, you are going to notice that the page reloads. It hasn't taken you away from this page. Now, this is really important because at this point, what you want to do is right click here and click say copy link address and save that somewhere or save the link as and make sure you save all of these because what you're going to notice if we go over to the plugins is that all of a sudden there is no Divi Ghoster, there is no Divi Switch and we don't have our reference here on the left either. So this is going to completely hide the fact that you have used these third party plugins, which is going to be great. You're not seeing any references to Divi at all. You're just seeing Supergirl. So all of a sudden your clients are going to feel like you have created this amazing looking website. They're using your builder to be able to do any changes that they're going to make to the website. And if we come back here to our theme detector, let's run this again. And while it's running, we'll come back over and go and have a look at the code base. All right, so if we come into the front end of the website, go back into the inspect element. And now what we're going to see if we look for Divi is it's gone down to 25. Now, actually, that's actually gone down to four. And the reason that that's gone down to four is because divider is all the other ones. But there are just a few IDs that needed to stay there. They're important for it to be able to function as a website. And of course, we want it to function as a website. But what you will see is that if we go down to that filing system area, particularly, well, of course, it's not going to show up with Divi. But if I look up Supergirl, we're going to see that now under the filing system, oh, I'll come down to our themes. Here we go. Under themes, now it's WP content slash themes slash Supergirl. So it is no longer referring to the fact that the theme is using Divi. And if we come back over to our theme detector, you can see <laughs> it's telling me I've checked the site too many times. So that's an unhelpful reference. But what you will see is that it's going to tell you it's not even using WordPress. So not only is it not using um, Divi, but it is not even using WordPress. So you're going to be able to really hide what you're doing with this website altogether. All right. So the final thing to show you is that you can now also customize the login screen. So if we go to Supergirl and then go to theme customizer, we're going to have the option to now put in your logo or your client's logo, for example, and then change the button. So here you can see you've got options and you can change this logo here, you can change the color of the buttons and then what I'll show you is what happens when you log out. So as you log out here, we're going to see that now it's going to be completely branded. So of course you could either do your logo there or you could do your client's logo there either way. Um, so this is really exciting. There are still more versions to come. So in the future versions, you're going to have more customization for this particular page, but you're also going to be able to hide the fact that you're using a child theme in Divi. So there's lots to come still here with Divi Ghoster. But as you can see, this is a really powerful tool that's going to allow you to look really professional to your clients, keep you front of mind for your clients. But also if you're wanting to, it could completely hide the fact that you're using Divi and completely hide the fact that you're using these third party plugins to be able to achieve a really great look for your website. I hope this has been really useful walking through what Divi Ghoster can do for you and we hope that you love using the plugin.